Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Hey, soul family. Hey, soul tribe. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? It is your girl, Tracy Shay, coming to you from Blackbird Fly, bringing forth Tarot Tuesday. Y'all know how we do on Tarot Tuesdays. It gets good. It gets juicy. It gets deep. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cleanse our energy fields. Give thanks to God, source, and the universe for allowing me to be a vessel, allowing me to be used as an instrument, um, as a medium to bring forth this message to you all. Take what resonates and leave what does not. This is a general reading, okay? Thank you all for tuning in. You know it's nothing but love. Okay. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share if it resonates with you as it will allow this video to be broadcasted and expanded um, internationally. Okay. So, like, subscribe, share, and if you want to leave a gratitude donation to contribute to the channel... All that information is down below in the description box, all right? So, let's go ahead and do some angel prayers for the collective. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, what angel prayers do you have for the collective on today? Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Divine Angels, what angel prayers do you have for the collective today? Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. And this is the Angel Prayer Oracle deck from Kyle Gray. Alright, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Whoa. So we have inner power, divine father, divine father. Thank you for co-creating my world with me. Live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Co-creating my world with me as I follow my joy. Co-creating my world with me and I'm living a joyful life. Thank you. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Leap of faith. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Thank you for co-creating this world with me, this lifestyle that I want for me. Thank you for being there through this process. Signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. Yay. Thank you for sending me reminders of your presence. Thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Exactly. I'm seeing the synchronicities. I feel you all around me. I see the presence. Thank you. Now, I'm choosing to trust in this process, okay? Trust in the journey. Trust in my vibes and my intuition, the gut feelings that I'm, I'm receiving. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Yes, mind, body, soul, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. Yes. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. Speak my truth, okay? Stay true to who I am in everything that I do and everything that I say, okay? Your character. Stay true. To who you are. Thank you to Kiel for supporting me transform from my past challenges. Yes, yeah, so I can take this leap of faith. So I can have these new beginnings. So I can 
tap into that inner power, that inner wisdom, and be guided. Thank you, Arch Archangel Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Yes. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for helping me stand with peace and love, okay, and harmony. Thank you for allowing me to take a leap of faith, okay. Thank you for allowing me to trust this process, trust in myself, in my intuition, in my gifts, in my talents, in this journey. Okay. All right, all right. I see you. I see you. I see you. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and get some tarot. For the collective. All right, Holy Spirit. What do you have for us today? What do you have for us today? Holy Spirit. What do you have for us today? Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. for the collective today. I gotta bear with me. I've been having issues with my wrist this last week, so it's a little sore. Um, so anything else? So over our energy, we got the Hermit. So going within, you know, uh, finding that, gaining that wisdom, gaining that knowledge, taking time to be isolated and um, shut off exterior um, noise that you're hearing, tuning into the right channels, okay? Going within, getting some wisdom, getting some guidance, some guidance, some inner knowledge, okay? Seeing signs from heaven, taking the... Um, Paying attention to the synchronicities, okay? Um, speaking your truth, all right? And then we got um, Seven of Swords, Page of Baton, Ace of Swords. We got Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, a Chariot. A chariot, we got... Um, the Eight of Strength, we got the Emperor, Knight of Batons, we got the Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> we got Two of Cups, and we got Three of Coins. So it's definitely some partnership, blossoming, um, something's turning in your favor. You are um, continuing to be strong throughout this process. Something is on the way, standing in that power. All right, now let's just dive into it okay so we got 
Seven of Swords, suggesting a feeling of needing independence or running away, maybe as a result of deception or procrastination. I definitely feel um, going within, running away from outside noises and really um, feeling more independent. Okay, and then we got Page of Batons. Which is a loyal young man learning about the supernatural and passion, a free spirit with few or no ties. Yes, just living that life full of joy, no ties, just doing what's best for you, okay? Transforming, being more spiritually aware, coming into balance, all right? Learning, gaining, gaining knowledge, gaining wisdom, gaining insight, okay? So now we got the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> a sign that caution must be taken in all decisions that will be made as it is possible that others could suffer as a result of your good fortune. Is that doing what's best for you, okay? Um, really being aware of what brings you happiness, okay? And, you know, not being, you don't have to be, like, mean to people or you're not, like, purposely trying to let go of you know some energies that are vampires or not like you know in alignment with where you're trying to go you know sometimes that could be hurtful to the next person make them feel some type of way but all in all you're doing what's best for you and that's the only thing that you can do okay is do what's best for you and so now we have the um, five of cups letting go of a whole blues and a close friend or relative of being disappointed by recent events. All right. So letting go of people, places, things. Like I was just saying, it can be hard. It can be toxic. I mean, it can be hard. It can be challenging. Those people can be toxic in your life, and that's why you need to let, let these things go, let these people go, okay? Because all in all, everything is going to work out how it needs to be how it needs to these right relationships this right partnership the people um who are coming into your life are going to be the people who are going to be coming in your life to bring to make it better okay to bring forth something that's going to um encourage you or going to change you in a way that's going to um help you in your growth okay okay help you in your expansion okay in your awakening all right so don't even worry about you know any loss okay of people places things all right those things that you know are not helping you they're not helping you let that let it go let it go let it go let it go it might be hard it might be challenging but i'm telling you the peace that's going to come after the people, the opportunities that's going to come after is going to be so much more rewarding and fulfilling to you. All right. So now we have nine of cups. Represents pleasure, achievement, relaxation, natural beauty, or taking pleasure from art. Whatever your intuition, your, whatever your intention will be fulfilled. Fulfilled. Okay. Exactly. So, you living in your joy, okay, whatever it is that you're trying to do, that you're wanting to do, your dreams, your goals, your desires, everything is going to be fulfilled, okay? You ain't got to worry about it. Just sit pretty, do what's best for you, remove toxic energies, and everything is going to work out. Everything is falling in place. Everything is on the way. You have the chariot. Things are coming together. Things are moving forward. You are in control of the reins of your own life. You must act with determination and confidence. And doing so will encourage your friends. <clears throat> it's your life. Life is what you make it. Whatever you do, do it in confidence, okay? Do it to the best of your ability. Do it with courage, all right? Strength. Your inner beauty is emerging with this car. So much beauty, okay? Inside and out, it's emerging, okay? 
take comfort in what you are doing and know that you can always trust your intuition, that guidance, intuition, okay? Speak your truth, trust your intuition, have faith, okay? Move forward, trust the journey, trust the process. The emperor, leadership, and human development, a strong power is likely to be yours. Use it well, exactly. You are so powerful. You are so strong. You are so beautiful inside and out. You have all this abundance coming towards you. All you have to do is let go of things that are not serving you. Okay? Let, let it go. Just let it go. Night of the time. Night of the time. In the case, a desire for change and adventure, travel, moving, house, or departure. It's time. It's time to move. It's time to go. It's whatever you are wanting to do in your life. It is time. Will of fortune. Things are turning in your favor, okay? Everything is working for your good. Will of fortune, okay? Come on. Quit playing. Ple faith. Pleasure. Wealth. It's yours, okay? Stop struggling against destiny and let time pass, okay? Let things go. Let time pass. Don't worry, okay? Don't, don't, you don't have to do nothing. It's all being worked out in the spiritual realms, okay? You don't have to do nothing, baby girl, baby boy. Two of Cups, a sign of partnership blossoming, whether it's romantic or or platonic, a true friend is near. Exactly. The people, places, things you got to let go. It's all for a reason. So you can bring in this new energy. The energy that you need to be investing your time in. Okay. Three of coins. Working together. The car of occupation and skill may also indicate fame, 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 spiritual growth, inner wisdom, beauty inside and out. Y'all, it's beautiful, okay? It's just beautiful vibes. You're doing what you need to do. Just continue to do that and don't, don't go backwards. Don't go back to people, places, and things that do not serve you in your highest good, okay? Don't go to draining situations, toxic situ situations. Don't settle for friendships, partnerships, relationships that are not bringing f fulfillment to you. Like, we don't know. Ain't no settle, ain't no settling. We ain't got time to, to be settling, okay? So, forget that. Forget that. Mm -mm. All right, one more spread, please. So you have grounding, authentic truth, soul love, create space. Okay, grounding is number six. Three, three. And this is from the secret language of light. Okay, so this is what our soul needs us to be doing. Okay, grounding. Anchor into the earth and always feel at home. Circumstances have affected your energy. You may be feeling disconnected, scattered, or overwhelmed. You may be bumping into things or forgetting if you locked the door or turned the iron off when you left home. Stop whatever you are doing and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let yourself be here. Call your dispersed energy back to your heart. Imagine any imbalance or Excess energy, excess energy flowing into the earth and feel the calmness of nature in exchange. Nature uses this energy for growth and expansion. This is a symbiotic co-creative process that we need to remember and honor. When you recenter, you will begin to feel more aligned, relaxed, and at peace. This may also be a message to spend more time outside. Nature lovingly resets our energy. It holds no judgment but simply allows and accepts. Yes, y'all. Take time to breathe. Take time to nourish yourself. Take time to feel good vibes, good energy. Okay. Authentic truth, which is number four. Down to two, two.
discover your truth and let others find theirs exactly y'all that's what i'm saying make your own self happy everybody in this world needs to be living in their authentic truth okay living to make themselves happy not the next person okay you making the next person happy and not taking care of self creating that self-love what are you gaining you just taking more out of your cup to fulfill somebody else's cup that's not even making you happy why don't do it don't do it don't do it okay the truth will set you free so as long as you recognize there is more than one truth that the answers you seek exist beyond the beliefs you hold now there are many truths in this world you don't have to believe them all just focus on what resonates with you if you must convince yourself of your beliefs they are not your truth your truth will always fulfill and satisfy it is unconditional meaning conditions don't have to change for you to live and feel your truth there is no right or wrong but there is cause and effect or action and reaction master yourself not someone else's process when you change your beliefs your life changes to match it to do this, you must be aware of how you feel and practice focusing on what makes your heart sing, not shrink. When you align with truth, you will flow, feel excited, and believe an authentic life is possible. If it is not your truth, you will resist, find it hard to commit, and feel indecisive. Do what makes your heart sing. Do what makes you happy. That is when you're living in your truth, okay? Then we have th number 33, 33, three, 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 okay unconditional love unconditional love the divine mother thank you mother for helping me to give and receive the love i deserve okay confirmation 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 unconditional love you are a you are a clear pure love nothing from your past will block your dreams your future will be nothing like it has been before you are at the center of your universe looking outward through your experiences when you look out in balance you are seeing love and will experience many variations of love make love your purpose find it wherever you can if you begin to introduce anything to your world that does not feel like love shift your awareness your energy or your eyes until you return to love become so devoted to your purpose of love that no one will sway you from it Unconditional love is not about tolerating or diminishing yourself to make another feel good. These are conditional actions that will make you feel less than or resentful. All of this is in alignment, y'all. Take care of yourself. Make yourself happy. Fill up your own cup before you're trying to go and do that for everybody else. Cut people off who are just energy vampires, who, who are leechers of your energy, who wants to just take, take, take. Takers will never say no, okay? It's, it's up to us. You need to also create space. Number 38. Number 11. 11. Hmm. 11, partnership. Um... Un unity okay make room for your dreams <laughs> living in that joy okay create a space for new desires by learning how to be happy now we all want certain things in our life to change and it is up to each of us to do something about it if you apply action from a position of truly wanting change you will create evidence of that desire as many face as manifestations of change once you notice something you would like to change take a breath and say thank you 
Recognizing what you want to change brings you more clarity on what you would like to change it to. Your job is to create the space for your dreams and desires to fill. Do this and you will begin to receive direction and wisdom. Create this space by coming into balance, meditating, focusing on the moment, or thinking of a person, animal, place, or situation that makes you smile. Feel the smile stretch through your body and relax knowing that all you desire is on its way. You have empowered your whole being because you don't need conditions to change to feel joyous in the present. You are bathing in unconditional love. Breathe it in and enjoy how good you feel. Y'all, love, 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 love is in the air. Okay, love is in the air. You, self-love is in the air. Make sure you are loving yourself. Make sure you are nourishing yourself. Make sure you are taking care of you, okay? Doing things that fill your soul, okay? Whatever that is, pampering yourself, going on a date, um, self-date, you know, going to the store, listening to music, dancing, uh, talking to close friends, you know, traveling, whatever it is that fills your cup right now do it 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 all right photo. so i got some final angel prayers thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love exactly the new people who are coming to you with the same vibrations okay with the energies who are going to reciprocate the love and the energy that you're giving to them those friendships are valuable okay those are the ones you want to keep in your life the other ones let that shit go Thank you, angels, for guiding me to love through meditation. Yes, however it is that you meditate, however it is you connect with your higher power. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, angels, for opening up doors to change. I am ready. We ready, y'all. We ready to let go of these things, these toxic things, these toxic place, people, these toxic places, you know, toxic situations. We ready to let it go. We ready for this new beginning. We ready for this transition. We ready. We already we already are going through it now, okay? We already pretty much did the work that we need to do and now we just need to stay in balance with that and don't go back and remember to um be aware of who of who we are allowing allowing into our space and into our energy, okay? All right, collected. That is what I have for you today. Tomorrow is Wind Down Wednesday. We will be um, winding down. Make sure you have your beverage of choice. You know me. I got my wine. All right, you guys. I love you. Thank you all for tuning in. And remember, you are protected, okay? Speak your truth. Stay authentic to who you are. This is your life. So live it. Live it the way you want to. The way it fits best for you not the next person okay i love you guys namaste namaste namaste